Have you ever heard a song that just speaks to you? And I mean, it speaks to the very core of your heart. Music is powerful because it can create or change an atmosphere. And when I'm talking about music, I'm talking about worshiping God. Psalms 105 verse 2 says, Sing to Him, sing songs to Him, talk of all His wondrous works. Is this something that you do often? Do you sing of God's wonderful works? Do you praise the Lord for His goodness? Do you worship God because He is holy and deserves to be praised? The Bible says, Talk of all his wondrous works. For me personally, there is one particular song that resonates with me. It's a song called Made Away, and it was performed by a man named Travis Green. It resonates with me because if I look back at some of the things I've overcome, it's only God that could have made a way for me. Please allow me for a moment to share some of the powerful words in this piece of music. The song says, Standing here not knowing how we'll get through this test, but holding on to faith you know best. Nothing can catch you by surprise. You've got this figured out, and you're watching us now. But when it looks as if we can't win, you wrap us in your arm and step in and everything we need you supply. You got this in control, and now we know that you made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. And we're standing here only because you made a way. You made a way. Saints, I don't know about you, but there have been times where it looked as though I wouldn't have overcome what was in front of me. There have been times where the mountain was high and the sea that was before me was daunting. But God is faithful. God made a way for me. God provided for me. God helped me. I want to encourage you to do as Psalms 105 verse 2 says, sing to him. Sing psalms to Him. Talk of all His wondrous works. If God has done something for you, and for each of us, the Lord has certainly done something for us, so we ought to worship Him. We ought to talk about His wondrous works. The book of Revelation gives us a glimpse into heaven. And I want you to notice how worshiping God is a constant activity in heaven. Revelation chapter 4. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they exist and were created. Saints of God, let us worship the Lord because He is holy, because He is good and righteous. Let us worship Him because He is worthy of our adoration. Now let us pray. My Lord, my God, your word in Psalms 105 verse 3 to 5 says, Glory in His holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His face evermore. Remember His marvelous work which He has done, His wonders and the judgments of His mouth. Father, 
we praise you today. We praise you because you are a God who is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. We praise you, God, because you are a God of light and in you there is no darkness at all. You are holy and righteous, God. You are an awesome God. We praise you, God, because you are not a man that you should lie. Your ways are higher than our ways, and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Lord, I pray that the Holy Spirit would help me and quicken my spirit so that I can worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Give me a heart of worship. A heart that seeks to praise and worship my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ daily. As I worship you, Lord, I am declaring that my life is in your hands. As I worship you, King Jesus, I am rejoicing about the fact that you have saved me. You have redeemed me and set me free from bondage. As I worship you, Lord Jesus, I am declaring that it is well within me. It is well in my life because my King has risen from the grave. As I worship you, my Lord, I acknowledge that you are my strength, you are my hope and light. Your word in 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 23 to 27 says, Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the gospels are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. Father, I pray that worship may be a way of life for me. Let it be a daily practice for me as I seek your presence. Let my lips always sing your praises. Let my home be a place of worship, a place where your presence resides. Lord, I praise you for your protection. I praise you for your provision. I thank you for always making a way for me whenever I've been backed into a corner. I thank you for always stepping in whenever I've needed you. Lord, I pray that I will be the kind of believer who will live according to Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, which says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Be glorified, my King. You are worthy to be praised and worthy to be honored. May your name be lifted high forever and ever, King Jesus. Thank you for hearing my prayer. Amen.